I was in college. I hated school. And I think there's just like one specific day I was just kind of like pissed off. At the time, I just wanted to like pick up this uh, MIDI keyboard and I had it laying around for like a couple months. After class, I just like made this beat. I didn't realize the potential or how special it was. I uploaded it. Kodak found it on YouTube. At that time, no one knew who Kodak Black was. It took about like two years for it to really, you know, get bigger and bigger. It kept going and I definitely didn't expect that. Next thing you know, this track becomes certified platinum. Bet you niggas won't come cross the street, pardon me. I don't talk to you, so don't you talk to me. I ain't dissing on nobody, be I'm vibing on the beat. I was like pretty much purely like a bedroom producer because I didn't really, you know, have reach or following to like, you know, work with any of the artists, you know, in my city. Growing up in Toronto, for a long time, was just only Drake, you know, type of uh, kind of holding on to the torch. But then all of a sudden, like when the weekend came out, like in the city exploded, like Party Next Door came, Magic Jordan. That's what really like got me into more mainstream type music. I think that somehow really got me inspired to do this. I start with usually like one melody and then I make the rest of the percussion, like everything. And then I layer the rest of the melodies on top. I just pick one of the basic um, stock pianos from Logic. Especially with main melodies, I always like to play out everything and like practice it. I don't really like edit the notes. Sound selection to me is more important than just like being able to edit the sound after. So I have a kick. With all my kicks, I usually like to add like a, you know, a little bit of overdrive, you know, distortion and exciter for some punch. I added the snare, the hi-hat afterwards. I personally like busy sounding hi-hats. That's basically what um, I feel like drives like, you know, the percussion a lot. So after I lay down all the percussion, I, um, I focus back on melody. So over here, I had like a, like a, you know, pad more in the back, kind of just gives it like the environment for the beat. I try to fill up the space by layering it. And I actually created like something that kind of resembles like a bass note almost that I mix together with the pads. It drives the chord progression because I know with the lead melody, the piano, it just kind of like stay the same without too many like change in the progressions. Right now it sounded like. So later on the beat, you know, I just started adding more different details. And um, I had like this harp first. Also, I had this kind of like a, like a synth lead. That's when I needed to add my bass. I was like messing around with a lot of like, you know, 808 basses. Didn't give that like right feel. So then I randomly went to this like, this is like the first time I did it too. I just added some really hard, deep, like a, uh, it's called a reggae bass. I added like a choir afterwards. I, I like to keep my music very like 3D, especially if I'm already adding so many sounds. I want them to make sure they have, they all have room. And I feel like this is one of the important parts of the song because we brought it to like a different climax. Usually I would go with a drum break, but, break, but this time, I don't know, I, I was messing around with like a horn. This is like one of those, the Lex Luger trap horn. I just feel like it completed everything. It's Lakota, the finesse kid, boy who hides me. You couldn't really put a name to well, what type of beat it is. That flow from Kodak, that was like a very distinctive flow. And I felt like it really embraced like what I was feeling when I was making the instrumental. You know, with Kodak doing um, No Flocking, I think with Cardi B and Bodak Yellow, like it really told me like, yeah, I can make something influential. 
is really hard making a name for yourself. And as a producer, you still understand the difficulty of having people to understand, you know, your capabilities.